What's happening everyone, it's Reagan Cypher here. Welcome to the latest episode in my relentless pursuit to try and find optimal value in the budget true wireless earbud market. And today we're taking a closer look at the Creative Outlier Pro. Now Creative is a name which is close to my heart, <laughs> having grown up building PCs during the 90s and early 2000s, all of which without fail had a creative sound blast, a sound card in them. And this familiarity doesn't always translate into good quality earbuds. Look at Lenovo, for example. But with Creative, it's a very different story. They're on their third revision now of the Outlier Air, the first of which was released in 2019. And each of them was actually pretty well received. But the Outlier Pro, the model which we're looking at today, is probably their highest specification earbud to date. They're currently priced at just £42.99 on Amazon UK. They typically retail at £67.99, but there's a £25 voucher which is bringing that price down. And that's very competitive. You're looking at it competing against the likes of the Soundcore A3i, some of the Soundpeats models such as the Mini Pro HS, albeit probably a little bit cheaper than both of them. And some of the headline features here include hybrid active noise cancellation, six mics to improve that call quality. They're using the ever reliable Aeroa AB1562A chipset, a 10mm dynamic driver and the AAC codec. There's a quick charge feature giving you two hours worth of playtime from just 10 minutes juice. The case has wireless charging. You're getting up to 15 hours single use playtime, up to 60 with the case, so it's a, definitely a battery monster. And there's customizable controls and EQ in the app. So in terms of a package, you can see why this would be very attractive, especially at that £43 price point. So today we'll be taking a closer look. We'll look at the unboxing experience as always, look at the ergonomics and fit, audio quality, active noise cancellation, we'll see how that performs, call quality, and we'll be taking a closer look at the creative app. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the unboxing. And I can say quite unequivocally what an impressive unboxing it is. It definitely passes the would you give this as a gift test. It definitely feels a lot more like a £67 product than 42 The cardboard enclosure has a bit of heft to it and it gives you a nice picture of the buds and case on the front. On the back you're getting a full rundown of the plethora of features that we talked about in the intro with some extra bonus ones to boot. Unfold the box outwards and you've got a very brief summary printed on the box that allows you to get the buds up and running quickly. Hidden at the back of the box you've got your accessories, there's a USB type A to C charge cable and you've got your spare tips in small and large. They're quite flat and quite narrow in keeping with the design of the buds. Creative talk about two apps in their marketing material, ignore the Super XFi, it's a service which is only really relevant for Chinese consumers. There's an instruction manual which is only in English, but it uses text and diagrams to really good effect. The sections which explain the battery LEDs and the controls in particular are very clear and unambiguous. You can tell this is something that Creative would be doing very successfully for a very long time. The charge case will probably polarise opinion due to its uncompromising size and hefty build, but personally, I love it. It feels very premium with a metallic umber finish around the shell, black plastic on the sides and a Qi wireless charge supporting pad on the bottom. It measures 8cm wide, nearly 5cm in depth and then just over 3cm in the height and it weighs a whopping 86 grams fully loaded but its elongated design, like the case of the Halo Per 3 Buds, means really it isn't any less convenient having in your pocket than some of the other larger TWS cases like the Realme Buds Air 3S or the bucket shaped Soundpeats H2. Now because of the case's minimalist design, there's no charging LED on the front. Instead, they've got a whole charging section on the side. The case battery LED in the center of the three is a red, amber, green configuration for low, medium and high. As for the left and right earbuds, well if they're flashing red as they are here, it means that the buds are charging inside the case. 
If that LED turns green, then you know that they're fully charged. Just as you can see here, where I've been using the cheap wireless charging facility, which is very convenient, although it does, as you would expect, take a little longer to fully charge the case this way. In wired mode, it takes around two hours for a full charge. That gives the earbuds an additional three full charges. And remember, you've got that quick charge feature, giving you two hours playtime from just 10 minutes juice. To open the case, you push the right outer edge inwards and the buds slide out, kind of like in a tray. The tray will wobble a little bit if you put too much pressure on it, but it feels reasonably sturdy. And there's no hall switch mode, so they won't connect or start pairing until you actually remove them. In terms of the ergonomics, the Outlier Pro have got a custom IEM feel to them. The extremely shallow curved nozzle and the curvature on the inside of the bud are designed to give you a really tight, stable, secure fit, minimize protrusion and augment the ANC. On the outer edge, you've got a contrasting large flat panel that enables the touch controls to be really responsive. You've also got LEDs at the bottom of the panel to tell you about the pairing status. Now, on first glance at the buds, you'll be forgiven for thinking they might wear quite bulky, but in reality, that isn't the case. Despite being a similar size to something like the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro, they certainly don't wear as bulky as them due to that targeted nozzle. They can wear extremely comfortably even for prolonged use, but make sure you've got them in the right configuration. Even if they're skewed ever so slightly, you might find that that shoulder area on the inside is digging against your conker. And there are voice prompts which tell you exactly what's going on in your ear as soon as you take the earbuds out of the case. Bluetooth turned on, now in pairing mode, waiting for connection, etc. So the Outlier Pro quite unique in their design. And that IPX5 water resistance means that you can use them in the gym or outdoors. It makes them quite a versatile bud that can be used in a number of different scenarios. Now we move on to the audio and sound signature. As I said previously, it's using a 10 mil dynamic driver and it defaults to the AAC codec. And the sound signature is definitely on the warmer side. Here, Creative have favored a subwoofer style, bass rich sound with an intimate close up staging. Tonally, they can border on dark sometimes with vocals, strings and pianos taking a back seat over guitars, harps and drums. The trebles aren't too sharp, so you're not getting any harshness or sibilance. There's no excessive shrill to synths, although this can give the impression at times of lacking a little bit of detail. The Outlier Pro are tuned with longevity in mind. They're the kind of buds that you can listen to all different styles of music with for really long periods, which is aligned to their battery life. You're never gonna get fatigue, although perhaps they could do with a little bit of EQ tuning to bring out some more life and energy to the sound signature. Taking a look at a few individual tracks on Side to Side by Ariana Grande. Vocals are smooth and present around the rumble of the sub and the lingering mid bass. The dip between four and eight K takes a little of the attack from toms and snares and percussion is certainly less textured and not as sparkly as some of the sets which I've reviewed over the course of the last year or so. The peak in the high mids between 2 and 4k means that vocals can at times sound a little nasally, but they're certainly present and this sound signature ensures that acoustic guitar chords don't disappear altogether and that the kick drums have a little bit more bite to them. Move to seven seconds by Yusu and Dor and Naina Cherry and you'll immediately notice that the percussion has lost a little bit of its sparkle around the relentlessness of the synths. It's a really full, rich and intimate sound. But with the default tuning, you'll find that the vocals and strings are a little constrained. Even so, instrument separation is quite good. However, the Outlier Pro has a secret weapon, the excellent creative app. Now, the app hasn't got loads of features, but I really like it. Everything is exactly where you expect it to be. It's very intuitive and it gives you control over the things that matter most. Dive into the EQ section. First thing you'll notice, you've got loads of EQs for gaming, but more on that later. And for music, you've got 12 specific EQs and they're actually pretty good presets. But even better is that you can take a preset and then edit it to a custom profile as you see fit. You've got 
10 bars across the full frequency range that can allow you to adjust that sound signature to whatever you like. And I found that I was able to open the sound out a little bit, reduce that mid bass a little, cutting the fat out between 200 and 250 hertz, taming the 4K peak slightly, and balancing out the trebles a little bit. And as a result, I could get a sound signature very similar to the original Huawei FreeBuds Pro, which was one of my preferred sets of 2021 stroke 2022. And taking some of those examples again, I put seven seconds through my renewed EQ setting, and already you could start to notice much more sparkle, much more texture to percussive elements, whilst the vocals sound much more upfront, opening out the arrangement slightly. Now, if you're patient, you can certainly get the Outlier Pro sounding how you want them to sound, but out of the box, it's not too bad. Certainly if you like that kind of darker, more intimate sound, then that's gonna play nicely with your expectations for those times when you want something more energetic and more lively, and you wanna hear the sparkle of percussion and the dynamism of vocals, then that EQ is your secret weapon to get the Outlier Pro sounding how you want them to sound. Now, active noise cancellation is something else that you have loads of control over with five individual strength settings in the app for active noise cancellation on and transparency mode. You activate each by tapping the left earbud a couple of times. That will cycle through the different modes. However, if you want to adjust the strength, that is only available in the app. I found realistically that anything below four for active noise cancellation on and anything below three for transparency mode probably wasn't worth messing with. Realistically, you're probably not gonna touch it for maximum strength. Outdoors, ANC does a pretty decent job of nullifying the low frequency sounds around you. If you're not listening to music, for example, you'll still probably hear engine noises, although they're very much reduced to a kind of higher pitch sound. But if you're listening to music, you won't hear those car sounds on a main road. And because of the shape, they're pretty effective at stopping wind from coming through as well. Now, it's not going to blot out everything. If you've got lots of noisy conversations going on nearby, you'll probably still hear them, police sirens, those sudden bursts of high pitch sound. They're not going to be blocked, but it's a reasonable performance outdoors. It's comparable to something like the Feel T2 Pro, or the Earfront OEM equivalent. Similar form factor, similar performance in terms of the ANC strength. Indoors, it's a similar story. If you've got the window open, PC fan on, or air conditioning units, it will remove those sounds and you won't hear them at all. And again, conversations which are happening around you, not so effective at blotting those, but as I say, if you've got the music on, you're not just simply using them to try and get rid of sound, then it performs adequately at this price point. Transparency mode is quite natural. It's not especially strong. There's a little bit of a lisp on the max strength setting. If you've got very close up conversations, you will be able to make out everything that someone's saying. If the conversation is a little bit further afield, then it's certainly going to be much more difficult. But this is, as I said previously, the norm with TWS of this form factor and price. So now we take you to the call quality section with a series of samples in different environments so you can gauge how the Outlier Pro are going to perform in those different scenarios, starting with absolute silence in an indoor environment. You might be doing a presentation or doing an interview or making an important call for work or whatever. You've been able to reduce all of those ambient sounds around you. This is how you can expect your voice to be conveyed on your voice calls or your Zoom calls when you've got, as I said, no other noise going on around you. Next up, we're going to show you what it's like in a very busy environment where you've got extreme sound in an indoor environment and then outdoor environment after that. So testing the indoor football to the creative outlier club in a busy indoor environment. I mean, the coffee shop scene that you have seen in part one of my 2022 4th video. If you haven't already watched that, then check it out. This is putting these of us through the same test to see how they can do it. Differentiating your voice from other distinct conversations you've got going around you to sound better than other environments that you can see. Okay, we are testing the outdoor core quality on the Creative Outlier Pro. I'm on a reasonably busy main road, 
um, of walking and they've got a little bit of wind behind me as well. So these are the kind of conditions that you can expect to be infiltrating your voice calls when you're trying to make or take a call on the daily commute. That is the Creative Outlier Pro. As you heard there, it is possible to make and take calls with the Outlier Pro, but it certainly isn't one of its strongest features, especially when the scene gets really noisy. Just closing off our assessment of the app, one of the big features in there is the ability to customize your controls. You can customize double tap, triple tap and long tap with music playing. And not only that, but the left and right tap in each configuration is independent. It means that you can set the buds up to give you volume control as well as the ability to cycle through tracks. And that's about it for the app. It's very basic, but it is very user friendly. So as we mentioned previously, the buds are using the same Bluetooth 5.2 ready Aeroa chipset, which we've seen in releases from the likes of One More, Feel and Earfun. It gives you decent stability and it certainly improves stability over some of Creative's previous releases. And it also gives you quite good latency. You're getting lip synchronization, certainly on YouTube videos. On games, it's not quite as synchronized. And there is a dedicated gaming mode but I almost didn't see it. If you tap the settings icon in the top right hand corner, you'll find low latency mode. Here you can toggle between normal and gaming mode and it will reduce that latency even further. It's the one blot on the copybook for the app. Why not just put it on the main screen? But to soften the blow, you've got a bunch of presets within the app, including some which are designed specifically for specific games, such as Call of Duty and Counter-Strike. And it's these little areas of polish which do set Creative apart from some of their competitors at a similar price. But the big thing that really sets these buds apart is the battery life. You're getting up to 15 hours with ANC off and up to 12 hours with ANC on. And my findings actually weren't that far short of that. I was just short of 10 hours with ANC on that's by far the strongest performance which I've seen with any set of earbuds with active noise cancellation. Whilst it is only using the AAC codec, it's still a really commendable performance. And these are the kind of buds really that you can have fully charged, take away for the weekend and never have to worry about the battery running out. You've got a quick charge feature as well, so they recharge very quickly. And as I mentioned previously, you're getting up to 60 hours or 40 hours, depending on whether you use ANC or not, with the case. So it really is a stellar performance in terms of battery life. And that really does put it in a different league to some of its competitors. That might be the deciding factor as to whether you use these earbuds or not. And that brings us neatly on to the summary. It's not a bad release from Creative do most of the basics really well and have some excellent additional features, but battery really is the unique selling point of these earbuds. If you're making a lot of calls, perhaps this is one to avoid, but otherwise for the majority of consumers, it, it gives you another option at that 40 to $50 price point. What did you think of the Creative Outlier Pro? Leave your comments in the comments section below really interested to hear and do please give the review a like if you found it useful this was my hundredth review over the course of the last few years i've been reviewing headphones both here and over at headfi so we got a special competition coming up for you next time around where you can win a couple of sets of earbuds so make sure you subscribe to be in the shout of winning one of those prizes for now it's reagan cypher signing off